So I, I know that you're there, and I know that you you shared with me. You, you you called me yesterday. We spoke a little bit, and I heard about you know some of what's taking place there. You're getting some help uh, from a few individuals, but what is Biden's administration doing? What is what is Joe Biden himself? Uh, is he is he offering any help whatsoever? Well, you haven't heard much from the White House on this, and that's really unfortunate. You know, you have a situation where a country's 90 minutes from our borders, uh, you know, just from a humanitarian perspective. I mean, you got almost 4 million people uh, that are without food. And so imagine all the kids and children that don't get access to food. These gangs have taken over the ports, so they can't bring food in and out, resources in and out. Uh, and so the country's already poor. Malnutrition was already uh, rampant in the country. And so now it's just exacerbated. Uh, and so it's very disappointing to have a president and a leader that doesn't address these things. Uh, I will tell you this, the State Department uh, has been very helpful to our efforts, helping to, to clear the pathways so that we can get access to Americans. Uh, but we've heard very little from this president. Uh, let me ask you this. I know I, I talked to uh, uh, Jillian, you know, yours is my friend, and she's your, your publicist and helps with a lot of things that you're doing. She shared some very, very disturbing information that some of these people that are just trying to get out um, that are stuck, these Americans, uh, one of them was literally on the phone trying to get out and was shot while on the phone trying to just get out and get to these helicopters. Uh, was, what, did that person survive? Is there, was there other family there in the house? Uh, unfortunately not, you know, and there's been several other situations. I mean, we've gotten reports of, you know, these gangs hitting neighborhoods up uh, different times, running in their houses, uh, you know, folks having to, you know, defend themselves through gunfire. Uh, and so there's been a lot of tragedies, a lot of deaths, you know. Uh, two days ago, they were laying bodies out in the middle of the street, uh, sending messages to people. Uh, you know, they, you, you go through now some of the neighborhoods are, are coming together. The, the, the neighborhood folks and communities are coming together trying to block out these gangs. Uh, but it's a consistent war. They have a war with the police department there in Haiti. Uh, there's a lot of police police officers there that are risking their lives every day, taking on people with military grade weapons. Uh, and so this is real. I mean, the, the fact that they even have access to these weapons uh, in a country like Haiti, where, where people are so vulnerable, uh, it's a sad thing. And so, um, you know, we have to do a lot more th than what we're doing here. If this was a different place uh, that had more resources, the United States government would be pouring uh, millions and millions of dollars uh, into ending this crisis. We've let it sit here and happen. Uh, and, and now we're to a point where the aid that we're given is so uh, misplaced that it's not actually helping the people. We need to come into Haiti. We need to help them reestablish a core of engineers. I've been saying that since the first day I got to Haiti. This place cannot defend itself. Its military age men are, are not working. So you have huge unemployment. 90% of the people aren't working a, a consistent job. And so how can you have an economy? Well, the, the, the U.S. State Department and USAID, they give a lot of money and a lot of resources. But if we don't help Haiti uh, with educating their men to be able to defend their own country, build their own roads and bridges, and actually start and build an economy, what are we doing? And so uh, that's what I'm all about. You know, I've had overwhelming support. Uh, just today, Wyclef John came out. He's really backing our, our initiative. Andre Berto, the boxer from Haiti, uh, world two-time world champion, backing our initiative. We're going to build a coalition of people uh, who have, you know, love for Haiti, who have been on the ground in Haiti, and we're going to do something about this crisis, and we're not going to stop. We're here. Uh, we, you know, we thank, you know, Governor DeSantis in the state of Florida for the resources that they put in, but we need more. We need more states to come in. We need the State Department to do more. Uh, public, uh, private citizens like myself are not going to leave Haiti. I've been there for 15 years. Some of my dearest friends live there. My kids have spent Easter uh, and New Year's and holidays there. Uh, we're here to stay. And even though it looks so bad, God always has something coming after you go through trials and tribulations. And I believe in the power of Jesus Christ. I believe in the Holy Spirit. And I believe that every single person in Haiti that's voiceless deserves the right to eat and to have access to safety. And I'm gonna be here until that happens. Yes, I agree. I agree with you 100 percent. We're going to be praying for for Haiti and for some stability there. Um, how many Americans are stuck there right now? Oh, well over a thousand. And so that's the reports we're getting over 500 Floridians uh, today. You know, we, we we pushed and we got seven more Americans out. So that brings our total to about 38 Americans that we've uh, directly helped 
get evacuated out of Haiti. But, you know, I, I tell you, man, I'm, I'm, I'm working alongside TAD Recovery Services, and these guys are fearless. Uh, many of them have military background, and they're, they're walking into situations that you may not want to be in. We're flying in and out every day, um, just doing a lot of different logistics that are tough, man. It's a, it's a condition that, yeah. you know, to get to you, you know, seeing these families jump off the plane in tears and, and, and not knowing mm. if they're going to live to see the next day, uh, it's real. Yeah. And I got about 10 seconds left, Jack. Where can people go if they want to give uh, support, if they want to support and donate to, to you to help get Americans out? Where could they go to do that? Go to the jackbrewerfoundation.org. You can follow us. You know, David, they can go on to your website. You've done so much to help uh, promote and raise awareness. Uh, we're out there if you want to help. When, and we're also asking for your prayers, man. You know, the prayers of the righteous yes. avail much according to the word of God. And there's nothing more powerful than the Holy Spirit. And so that's what's empowering us and that's what's backing us. Well, I know we need prayers and we also need resources. So, Jack, thank you so much, brother. We'll be praying, praying for you, for your safety of your team, and for getting every single American out, and then stability there for the Haitian people. They need that. So God bless you. I'll talk to you soon. Yeah, glory to God. Hallelujah.